Hashtag rigged, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> totally. I'm gonna get the best warband, guys. And the next one is seven. Seven. So that would be Karond. 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 What will you get, buddy? Karond will be... Undead. Whoa. I think he's very happy about that. I would be. I would be. It's a really good warband. Oh my gosh. I hate the undeads. Okay. Hello everyone, and yes indeed, I have registered for the Bodyhood League Season 2. It is a tournament with 24 participants, each with a randomly determined warband, starting from level 0 and working the way up, playing every other game against the AI and every other game against a player with progression. As you can see and saw earlier, I have been delivered the Undead Warband. These are my competitors, although I think that this is uh, up to a bit of change here. I think more jacks replaced someone here. I don't really remember who. So there has been a change uh, since I took this picture. In fact, this entire year uploading as of now is a recast. Uh, of a previous video I did that I deleted. So why did I join this league? Well, for one reason I thought it might be fun to breach this community. I have been trying to get this uh, community involved with the main community for a while, at least twice before. Uh, for example, over a year ago I was part of a group called the Mordheim YouTube League where the idea was that each member would upload every single game played against each other on YouTube. It was a great idea because for the first time people would be able to watch a full league, just like an eSport event, but it all fell apart that time. The rules stated that we were required to play 10 games against the AI beforehand, and that's where it fell through. Uh, some of the players lost a mission to the AI and so lost motivation or they felt that they couldn't really finish the 10 games and they didn't want to commit to finishing the 10 games before the tournament. And so one by one everyone dropped out and it also fell apart. Most of those members were actually part of the Bodyhood community, among them David is trying who was one of the first to opt out and I will be happy to loot his warband clean in remembrance. That's a joke by the way. We will see how that goes. I'm in his division. It will be fun to see him again. Um, what else can we really say? The second time was with the warband files. They are in the link in the description here, which are files that have all of the formulas and Wordstone factions unlocked made for level 10 warbands. I sent them onwards to several Bodyhood League community members, hoping that they would finally take the plunge and join us in the main community, playing a level 10 tournament or playing any other tournament the main community hosts. But not too many people have uh, gotten into that. As I joined this league, it seems we have been joined by V3.1 as well as Dig, who are joining the Mordheim Madness tournament that's recently started up, which is very happy news indeed. But I wish there was uh, more of an integration between the various communities. There used to be many more communities in Mordheim that were self... Uh, well, what can we say? They, they were living by themselves, sort of, with virtually no contact or interest in any other part. The last one was the Perma League community, which uh, for what is now over half a year ago, joined, joined the main community and joined the tournaments and the talks and the discussions and everything. And I think that's important to do, since uh, with the multiplayer settings we have in this game and might have in Necromunda as well, we really need to stick together everyone and it doesn't help anyone to be separated. But we'll see. I think that um, most of these players, I have not faced a single one of them before and many of them are very casual players. I myself come in at 1250 hours of Mordheim, which is more than any one of these players. So I think we can consider myself to be a bit of a favorite here and I have also played a lot of the level 10 tournaments and uh, yeah, I should be getting to the final at the very least. Um, <clears throat> but it will be a fun uh, tournament indeed. Anyway, uh, let's skip to talking and look at the warband since I recast it a bit. Let's let's try out, uh, we're gonna Market check out stock has been there. replenished. Nice. We're gonna 
do a bit of a check on what we actually got here. Ugh. Poor, poor, poor market show, no? Um, I'm gonna buy that. Uh, anyway. Um, anyway, let's check out the warband here a bit. Uh, we have the leader, Valla. Valia the Ghoul King, and that's kind of my theme for this series that I'm doing. And since I have to play the undead, and I feel that they are a mediocre warband in PvP of this kind, with progression starting all the way from level 0, and with the rules, which are that you cannot hire any DLC units until level 5, and which means that you gradually unlock certain heroes. I just recently unlocked uh, this particular hero, the Vampire, and you can see it, I've already played two games against with her, one uh, PVM and one game against, by the way, Rant. But uh, for the most part, uh, we are going to stick with the ghoul. So we're going to stick with the ghoul for my one main, or, main or reason. That is that the zombies do indeed suck. Yes, the ghouls are the worst henchmen in the game, but the zombies start out with very low movement, and I just can't stomach that. I could boost them with a necromancer, but the necromancers are the last hero to be unlocked for um, the vamp for the undead faction and they also have to get to level six to unlock their first mastered spell and that's just not worth it it's really not worth it to waste two heroes uh, and all of the red pills just to make some henchmen sort of decent so we're gonna stick with the ghouls and we're gonna stick with the theme here being a ghoulish team i actually don't think that we we will even keep this uh, <coughs> vampire thrall I think that her only reason for existing right now is when I unlock a third hero. She will be included since I don't, don't have anything else to include her with. Otherwise we're gonna focus on the two drag archers, which are pretty nice. We also have got a nice bow here for one of them. And of course all of the ghouls. And when it comes to ghouls uh, and their speed, I think there's one thing that we have often overlooked when it came to the strength of the Undead Warband, which is bodily reconstruction. And I really love this one. Let's let's take a look at the skill here for a short while. Let's see. There we go. Bodily reconstruction. Uh, when you do it, it costs uh, uh, 90 gold coins to do. Um, we can check out someone else here who doesn't have it yet. There we go. So it costs 90 gold to do. Increase critical resistance by 10. It has lower requirements, 6 toughness. And it only takes one day to train. Consider that compared to resilient. 10%, so it's the same effect. 10% critical hit resistance. 9 toughness and 3 days. And I think that's really important. As well as the 270 gold. As you can see over here. And since we have that. Um, I think we're going to focus a lot on the defense here. To provide a competitive warband all the way up to the levels. This means focusing on stances. Uh, and bodily rec reconstruction and maybe harder. So we are resistant towards critical hits and make sure that we don't take too many injuries should we go down. We're going to play cautiously and uh, stances for everyone as soon as we possibly can. Possibly armor for the vampires. Uh, anything else that needs to be said is that the vampire is extremely strong so we're going to use him a lot most people cannot resist the terror test and will have troubles with it and we're gonna use that he's the main power of this warband uh, we might eventually recruit a crypt horror to fit the theme although he might not be too useful and be a low level we will see um, it's mostly about trying to figure out a theme that's fun to play and fun to watch as well that can be somewhat competitive i think that my experience with pvp will win out regardless what kind of warband i choose but, um, well, it never helps to, well, it does help to be prepared. And I like to immerse myself. I write, like to give them role-playing names and such, like, uh, let me see, Strigony Victor, for example, because all of them are Strigonies uh, in uh, Strigor lore, and uh, the goals are just named Neck Snapper, Head Smasher, and so forth. Bone Splitter. Uh, so it's nothing really important. I'm not mentioned... Uh, name the vampire yet if someone has a suggestion i'm all ears um, besides this i uh, will see how it goes i said the undead was a mediocre warband with that i say i think they're the middle of the pack 
since you have to recruit the first hero and don't have too many options, I think that the only two warbirds that are actually better than Undead in this format should be Cult of the Possessed and the Witch Hunters. And the Witch Hunters we are about to face here. We are going in for a third PvP, I will upload a sep separate video for that against the Re Oren, and we will play him in a few hours here. That will be nice, but uh, yeah, I don't feel like I have too much else to say. This is just an introduction to see how everything goes with the Warband, and uh, I will have a few videos uploaded every now and then. But I don't think I will upload every single video, just a bit to give you a sense of progression and see where we're standing. And uh, yeah. Uh, Wish me good luck and we hope this will be an interesting series for all of you to watch. Farewell for now.